Hello and welcome friends to 5 Minutes Engineering. The topic of today's video is network topology. What do we mean by network topology and what are the types of those topology? That's what the questions I am going to answer in today's video. So what's basically a network topology? See, your network comprises of many devices. We can say nodes, we can say systems, we can say stations, we can say, okay. But how they are interconnected with each other with the links, wires, cables. Okay, what structure, what arrangement it is forming. Okay, in what arrangement, what structure the all your nodes of your network are linked interconnected with each other by using cables or links okay that's what is network topology and there are various types of no topologies that could be formed now let's start with one by one let's start with the bus topology the first one the very basic one the primitive one the very simple one is the bus topology now in bus topology as we can see there is only a one single cable that you can see this cable is also called as a backbone cable. This is also called as a backbone cable. If, if anything happens to this backbone cable, whole network will collapse, will crash. Okay, because this is a backbone of your system or you can say your network. So this is a backbone cable to which, to which your different, different devices, we can say nodes, we can say that are connected to it. Now what happens here is that whatever the messages or data that has to be transmitted in the bus topology, it is going to be in one direction. It is going to be in one direction. So what approach we have to follow in bus topology is that when one station or you can say when one node or one device is sending the data using this particular cable for transmission others should stop others should not transmit because at the same time when a is also transmitting and at the same time if c also starts transmitting or b also starts transmitting there will be collision so collision problem exists in the bus topology okay so that's the simple point and here the advantage is that not much uh, uh, you know complexity in installation or configuration it's pretty simple and here the wire or cable or link requirement is also very very low as you just need require this one big uh, this is backbone cable okay so that's all about the bus topology let's move ahead and understand about some stars that is a star topology as this figure shows it looks like also star so this is a star topology where there is going to be a central node and that central node here is called as a hub okay and what does this hub do it tries it has ports okay so you can have four port eight port like that hub you can have it here and depending upon the port the number of devices of your network or nodes of your network can be connected centrally by using this respective hub okay now this hub is a four port hub and that's why here we are connecting four nodes of your network a b c and d but in star topology there is one big problem as you can also see and observe from this diagram what will happen if this particular central node to which we are calling as a hub if it gets down it all will get disconnected and thereby resulting in the network getting down or crashed okay now let's understand the third ring topology what do we mean by ring topology we have seen rings correct okay they just look like this in the ring form in the ring shape so that's why ring topology what we actually have in ring topology is that whatever the nodes or devices we have in our network we here specifically in ring topology we call them as a stations we can call them as a stations station 1 station 2 station 3 station 4 station 5 and all of them are arranged in a ring shaped topology all of them are arranged in a ring shaped topology and this is what the links they are sharing okay this is the links by which they are connected and forming a circle like shape ring like shape okay and now what does this arrow means this arrow means that whatever the transmission of messages that has to be done or data has to be done it is going to be in a one direction it is going to be in a one direction and in ring topology you need tokens okay you need tokens that are special packets you can say in the ring topology where any station any station uh, who want to transmit the data who want to transmit some message let's say s1 want to give a message to s4 now then s1 the station one will have to hold the token will have to take the token without token any station cannot transmit any message to any other station in a ring topology simple as that so for transmission of message the station let's say in this example s1 has to have a token it has to hold it and then it has to transmit the message and it will be received by the station s4 okay so this is all 
simple thing but some of the advantages of this ring topology is that if let's say uh, these links are breaked if these links are break then if they are not immediately if they are not immediately resolved this problem of link breakage or cable breakage or wire breakage whatever you can say it if this persists for a longer duration if it is not attended resolved immediately then lot of data loss can be encountered as our example was station 1 wants to send some message to station 4 and let's say we have this situation where the link is breaked okay and the, there is no connection in between this and this part of the network so the message will come in this direction as it is coming as by this arrow but it will not reach to this part of the network because there is a breakage there is a gap there is a breakage okay the link has been break so because of that whatever the messages whatever the data is coming it will be lost it will not reach to the station 4 so we should immediately resolve it that's what the situation in ring topology is